Hello, I'm George Hayes, and about seven years ago, I created a set of uh, videos here because I created this uh, dungeon development thing as far as generator that produced roughly 40,000 rooms in one second. And I've made an update to it effectively, I've improved it a little bit, and so I think I'll go ahead and show that to you. And this is the code on it, and this is where I'm measuring the time that dungeons being generated, it's creating the blocks and the halls and so on. The blocks are actually uh, 176 blocks each across and has 256 rooms in it, and then I make multitude of those connected to together, and then they're, they're all pathed as far as in there. And so every room is literally connected. So we'll go ahead and run that real quick so you can see it. There you go. And it's 1,024 rooms by 1,024 rooms. So the total map. And we can sit here and go for like this for a very long time, obviously. And I had to actually slow this down as far as on here. But let's take a look at the time it took to generate it right there 1.27 seconds that's actually a little slow if we close it and try and rerun this it might be because OBS is running and recording 1.224 so that's a little better um, let's go ahead and close that back out we can always restart it and so I said I had to slow it down let's see on loop over here I had to put this in otherwise it just really flies by and we can see what that's like why not oh wrong one uh, that's the one I'm looking for alright so that'll be up in a few seconds as far as on there but in general as far as with the code as far as on this you know I'll probably actually look at trying to put it out later, maybe if I have it, because uh, I'm intended to actually put it in a game, and I think it's kind of uh, a little better than what others have for their games right now, as far as the generation capability and size and stuff, and I can do more with it. So let's go ahead and rerun. I think that's done. Yep. Go back to this. Alright, so 1.2 some seconds still as far as on there as you can see. Bring this back up. Hit F1. Go back in there. And let's see how fast it goes now. And we go all the way across. And we can go down. As you can see, it's going too fast to actually see. That's why I slowed it down. But, so now we're finally over at the end. And go down and we're at the bottom now so all the way across and let's go back to where I can slow it down a bit I have to redo this real quick take this out because I'll show you where how these things are connected together and that might be a little bit more beneficial to you guys if you're wanting to build your own dungeon map generator and stuff like that it's just a matter of more efficiently putting things together in a manner that you're not trying to generate large amounts excessively at one time because if you go with too large amounts at a time then you're actually going to slow down as far as in things so what I did is I broke the workload up into smaller pieces, the chunks as far as which are, you know, those blocks I was showing you as far as on there, and then put the halls and stuff in and things like that. All right, so if we look here, this is uh, one, two, three, four, five rooms, six rooms, seven rooms, eight rooms, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and we should be have this path come down in here, and this is where. Er, our chunk is connected together to the next one over all right and the chunks are connected together the same way all the rooms are connected together which is by 
uh, a depth first search recursive algorithm and so every chunk in every room is all connected together in some way or manner and it makes for a very large dungeon and, and so there's 64 chunks by 16 on just per side and if we go in here we can go back to on my load and change these out to 256 and that will make it eight times larger sorry 16 times larger and we will have 16 million seven hundred seventy seven thousand some rooms in this dungeon in 16 seconds all right after we compile it and so I'd say that's a little bit of an improvement over 40,000 in that one second going to a thousand you know 48 million 48,000 you know <laughs> slight improvement we should be close to there yeah we're ready all right so it's gonna take a little longer to run this time before it comes up and it's gonna black screen here and when it comes up we should have a very large large dungeon and maybe it's record making or not I don't know yeah. <laughs> so should be getting there there we are alright so let's see how large how many seconds that actually took us it says it took us 21 seconds this time okay so it was quite a bit larger so that makes sense as far as on the path connecting together on the last part that's why on you know because like I said there's the paths and then the chunks are also pathed as far as together as well so let's see how big this is alright I don't think we should go through the whole thing because Let's see, it'd be 8,000 or like 4,096 across by 4,096. So that would take us quite a while at this speed to get across. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy learning how this is done. But, yeah, I don't know how long it would take someone to play through 16 million rooms. <laughs> I suspect it would take a while. <laughs> All right. You have a great day. Thanks for watching.